Hello and welcome to this episode of Luminar News. My name is Jacob Bors and I'm here to bring you up to speed with the latest Luminar updates. Just before we're going to start, I want to remind you to subscribe to our channel to make sure that you don't miss one of our future episodes or updates. Skylum is back with another update for the photo editing application Luminar Neo. Although this isn't the biggest update we've seen, it actually brings two of the highly requested features involving the professional extensions and Luminar Neo presets. In this video, we will start by reviewing the list of the updates. After that, I will show you how to find out what version of Luminar Neo you have and how to update it if it's necessary. In the end, we will jump into the application and I will show you how to use all the new features and updates. Starting with the extensions, you can now use the HDR Merge, Focus Stacking an upscale AI extension not only directly in Luminar Neo, but also from the Lightroom plugin. This will be a welcome news for many Lightroom users out there, as it will allow you to achieve even more impressive results with any editing workflow. Moving on the presets, editing with them will be even faster and more convenient. You will now be able to scroll down through the list of presets and view the effect of each of the presets simply by hovering over it. To top it off, Luminar Neo 1.7.0 is faster and more stable when applying the first edit, making further edits and managing the editing history. Of course, as always, Skylum has fixed a number of bugs in Luminar Neo so the whole application should run even more smoothly. If you want to see the full list of all the updates and news, make sure you head to the Skylum website, skylum.com slash what's new slash luminar neo. Now this is the great time to mention that this episode of our luminar neo news is powered by our luminar neo power bundle. For a little fee, you will get over 986 new elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. You will get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects, LUTs and presets to transform your images with just a few clicks. To find out more about it, make sure you visit our website cleverphotographer.com and to get the best price, simply follow the link in the description of this video. And now it's time to make sure that you're using the latest version of Luminar Neo and if you don't, let's go ahead and update it. So as you can see, I'm in the application and I'm in the catalog module. What I want you to do next is to go in the top left corner of your screen and click on the Luminar Neo logo. Once you do that, you will get a new list and here simply click on About Luminar Neo that will show us a new window where you can see your current version. As you can see right now, I'm looking at the version 1.6.4, so I know I need to update my Luminar Neo. So let's close this window and let's go back to the same menu, once again, top left corner of your screen and Luminar Neo logo. The next thing you need to do is to click on check for updates. It will scan and then it will tell you that a new version of Luminar Neo is available. And since we have the older version, we can now download it and install it. Now the next step is really simple. Just click on install update. Your system will start to download the update and then extract it and prepare it for the installation. Depending on your machine and also the speed of your internet, it may be going to take a few seconds or a few minutes. So once we are finished, we're going to continue. Once the update is ready, all you need to do is to click on install and relaunch. So the system will install the update and reset the application, bringing us back into the catalog module once it's all done. Now everything is set and we are back in the application and all there is left to do is to double check that we have the new version and you already know how to do that. Just go back to the top left corner. Again, click on Luminar Neo logo 
and click on About Luminar Neo. Now looking at the number here, we can see that now we are running the version 1.7.0, so everything is good and we can start to use the application. So now just click on the red dot and continue. And now it's finally time to look at the new features and updates inside of the application. We're gonna start with the presets module as that is the easier part. So to do that, I have the sample file here. I simply gonna select it and then move it into presets module. In the presets module, we can pick any of the presets here. So why not heading into the purchase section where I have already the presets from our power bundle and we can, for example, try something like the organic pohu. Click on it to open it and you will notice animation of the circle running in each of the thumbnail of the preset. This means that they are loading and they are ready to be previewed. Once they disappear, now you can go ahead and preview the presets. All you need to do, just like I said earlier, is to hover over it and you will see the preview of the effect. So for example, right here, I'm on the faded memory. Now I can go into the bright moment, sunny walk, heavy tones, light morning, and so on. Now it's important to notice that these previews are exactly what they are. They are previews. They help you to quickly choose which look you prefer. It's only after you actually apply the preset when the full edit will be applied and the picture will look 100% right. So just quickly, we can go through it, green shades, autumn tones, cream tea, and so on. And just to show you again, let's just jump out of this collection and go, for example, into the vintage film. And here again, we see the circles, and now we can just hover through. Now, when I go through the presets and I'm looking, for example, at this retro colors, you can see that the preview of the grain that is applied to this preset is a little bit harsh, but when I click on the preset and give it a moment to apply to the image, you will see that the grain looks much better. So use the preview as a guide on what you want to apply to your image, and once you're happy, simply click on the preset and you will get the full edit. So that was the presets module, and now it's time to look at how we can use our extensions in a plugin version of Luminar Neo. Now it's not that simple, especially the initial setup, so follow me on this step by step to make sure that you make it work. So the step number one is to make sure that your Lightroom plugin is installed in Luminar Neo. To do that, navigate to the top left corner of your screen, click on Luminar Neo, and then navigate in the Install Plugins. Click on that, that will open a new window and what you want to see is the icon of Adobe Lightroom Classic with a little check in front of it. If you don't, there should be option which will say install. So just click on it and then click done. So that's the first thing. Make sure that you have your Lightroom plugin installed in Luminar Neo. Step number two, close Luminar Neo. And then if you have Lightroom Classic open, Close it and reopen it again. The workflow of using the Luminar Neo extensions with Lightroom is same for each one of them. For the HDR merge, the stacking, as well as the upscale. So I will just show you how to do it for the HDR merge and then you can use the same workflow for the rest of the extensions. So as you can see, I'm in the develop module and I have a three images here. This is from my recent trip to Canterbury Cathedral and I have captured it with bracketing as I wanted to make sure I have a details inside of the shadows as well as highlights. The only editing I have done here in Lightroom is to apply a simple adjustments on our main toolbar. After that, I have shared this edit on the other images and now they are ready to be merged together. So again, we have our standard exposure. We have an image where we're focusing on our highlights and then the image where we're focusing on details in shadows. So we have a three images. Let's focus on our bottom toolbar. 
What you want to do here is to simply select all the images, and you can do that by using Ctrl or Command A. Now they are all highlighted, and what you want to do is to right click on one of them, and then instead of the usual going into Edit In and then Luminar Neo, you want to go into the Export, and in the Export, look for the section with Luminar Neo. Now this is where the extensions are. Look at it, we have the Focus Stacking in Luminar Neo, we have the HDR Merge in Luminar Neo, and we have the Upscale Photo in Luminar Neo. What we want to do, since we're working on a HDR image, is to select the option with the HDR Merge. Now the next thing that is going to happen is Lightroom will take the images and send them into Luminar Neo. Once you in Luminar Neo, you will be prompt with the extension window. The setting here is exactly the same as you would expect it in a standalone version of the program. It just looks a little bit differently. We have our images here, we have some setting we can set, so for example we can click on the auto alignment and also use the chromatic aberration reduction, and then once we're happy we just click on merge. Luminar Neo will process the image and then it will bring us to the usual place the presets module. When the image is ready, you have a three options. You can apply presets to it here in the presets module, or you can move it into edit module and develop it there, or you can skip all of that and just go back into Lightroom Classic and continue there. For that, you would just click on apply. Since today we are working with the presets module, let's go back there and let's use more of our presets. This time you can go again into the purchased, scroll down, and let's say that we're gonna use our essential HDR collection. Open it, and let's again wait for the previews to get ready, and when they load it, we can just hover through and see which edit we prefer. So let's have a look. Cinematic touch looks really good. Blue hour, vintage black and white, but actually I quite like the strong saturation or the bright day. So let's stick with the strong saturation, click on it, apply it, and once we happy with it, all we need to do is to simply click on apply. Now Luminar Neo will process the image and bring it back into Lightroom Classic. When you return in a Lightroom Classic, there is a possibility your image will look like this. And the reason being is that when you exported the image, the image copied the setting from the previous images. Let me show you what I mean. When I look at the original images, they all have these adjustments. Exposure 45, they have also the temperature, contrast, highlights with minus 77, and so on. So now when I click on the new image, the Merge HDR, it carries the same setting. It still has the white balance, the exposure, contrast, and highlights. Well, to fix this, all we need to do is to go to the bottom of the main toolbar and simply reset the adjustment. And after you do that, you will end up with the image looking the same way like when it left Luminar Neo. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.